or tennis ball. Okay? So we're going to start off, okay, with um, a circle, okay? And I'm going to draw several different things here. So I'm going to draw a circle um, that's kind of small. Okay? So draw kind of a smallish circle. We're going to do like four of them, right? So first we're just going to learn how to draw them, and then we're going to draw them in a picture, like, together on the back, okay? So... Okay, so somewhere on your page you should have, like, four circles. Okay. Okay. So for our first circle, these are not going to be correct um, next to each other in size relationship. We're going to like make that happen on the back side of our page. We're just going to practice the first go around. For basketball, we're going to draw a curve line. Okay, and then we're going to draw another curved line to make kind of an X. So we have... an X there. And then we're going to find the place between these two points, which is right here. And kind of divide that part in half, okay? And then you're going to find the part that is halfway between these two points, so right here. And you're going to divide that section in half until you get about here. And then you're just going to connect these two in a curve. Okay? Then do the same thing in this section. Find the halfway point right here. Find the halfway point right here. Divide that section in half. Divide this section in half, and then draw a curved line to connect those two. So that's a basketball. Now if I want to make it look 3D and cool, I am going to add some shading to it. I'm going to work in kind of a half moon shape. So I can also add just a touch of shading on this opposite edge, but I want the majority of the shading to be here. Okay? And then to make it look even more realistic and three-dimensional, I can create a shadow underneath it. Okay? So that's kind of how to do a basketball. Now, some of you are not really interested in basketball. You have other interests. Maybe instead of basketball, you like volleyball. So for volleyball, we're going to find just a point kind of in the center. So I'm going to draw a curved line coming out from that point. Okay? And then I'm going to think of this like a third, and I'm going to draw another curved line curving in the same direction as before right here. Then I'm going to draw another one of those curved lines curving in the same direction right here. So I have three sections. Okay, once I have my three sections, I'm going to divide those three sections in thirds again. So here, I'm going to create a curved line 
that follows this curve. I'm going to create another curve line here. And then I'm going to do the same thing in this section, only my curve line is going to follow this edge. So here. Here. I'm going to draw another curve line that follows this curve right here. And right here. So that's a volleyball. And in the same way, I can create some shading for that and make it look three dimensional exactly the same way I did my basketball. And this is going to be a baseball. So for baseball, depending on the direction that I see it from, will kind of depend on um, how it looks. But we're going to just draw like a curve line. Draw another curve line opposite of that. Okay. And if this is a baseball, if this is a baseball, then I'm going to draw in the stitching, right? Make it look like a baseball. So I'm just going to alternate this side and the other side, back and forth. Just like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. But there's another sport that has a ball that has this kind of design, which is tennis. And so for a tennis ball, you'll treat it a little bit differently. It starts off the same way, right? You'll draw your curve. And on this one, I'm going to make the bigger portion over here. Then here's my other part of my curve over here. But for a tennis ball, this part is going to be light. So I'll draw another line there. Right? And then this part has shading on it. It's going to be um, that green fuzzy stuff, right? So that in. Is there anything I'm missing that you guys want to learn to draw? Yes. Yeah. Oh, football. Oh, football. Ah, football is easy. Okay? Good. For a football, you're going to draw a curve line and then a curve line going the other way. And then you'll draw another curve line inside there. And on that curved line, you're going to draw an oval shape. And then you're going to draw in the laces. And so um, you can also draw another one of those in here. So that's basically how those work. Now, these don't make sense together because the size relationships are off. So you wouldn't have a baseball and a basketball that are the same size, right? So on the other side of your page, you can practice making a more realistic drawing where you have a large basketball shape and a slightly smaller volleyball shape, right? Volleyballs are just slightly smaller. And then a smaller baseball shape here. So then you can like sketch in your details to make that work. So if you want a drawing that makes sense, you can practice on the back of your page.